Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, just another quick video. <laughs> Coming thick and fast at the moment. Um, yeah, just because, well, I got to receive two really good progress pictures today. Um, as a funny coincidence, um, not received any in a while. Um, so usually it's at the end of a block, but I uh, so two two different people sent me uh, progress pictures today, and they're really good. <coughs> and um, I just asked, I, I just kind of asked them. Uh, one of them, I just sort of said, "What what is it you did differently?" Um, she's a girl that's been doing the boot camp for a while, like over a year, and she she'd made really good progress for uh, initially. And then I think maybe she'd I think it's fair to say she felt like she plateaued a wee bit, um, but then since June. To now, um, she'd made further progress, really, um, and the really the, the only difference was that she said in her own words that she just ate like well, she started listening to her body more, um, and started to eat less because she wasn't she didn't need as much food as she was eating before, um, cut out the crap, <laughs> which is, seems pretty straightforward, but that's the first thing, cut out the crap, um, ate less rubbish, which is kind of the same thing, but she didn't cut it out completely, so there's still a wee bit of rubbish in there, um, stopped drinking less wine, I think that was another thing she said, um, but again she didn't eliminate it, she just drank less of it less frequently, um, she tried to reduce the amount of sort of emotional stress in her life, and... I'm trying to remember this from memory, <laughs> and she just made it more of a priority. Whereas before, like it would just like training would just be fitted in around around um, other things like kit or kit the kit kids or uh, work and things like that. Um, whereas now, she just made it a priority that three times a week she was going to train, and it was as much of a priority as, as other things. Um, and that's that's kind of the message I'm trying to convey to folk that. You, until you do that, until it becomes a priority to the same level as, like, obviously it's not important to get your kids, but my point is, it, it, until it becomes as much of a priority as these things, um, to get it done the same way, like, you need to do certain things. Do you know that way they're just things that are priorities? Well, it has to be on, it has to be on a similar level to that. And until it is, um, you'll never really fully break free of the whole struggle to get on top of your health and your fitness and your body composition. If it's always just something you're trying, I'm going to try that, or I might, I'm just going to dabble in that and see how it goes, or I'm going to try how that, that boot camp, see how it works. It's never going to happen. Um, and it's a mindset thing. It's just about mindset, and that's why the, the whole concept of diets does, does not appeal to me, because by its very nature, the, the, the concept of joining a diet club is that you're going to join it for a bit, lose a bit of weight, like losing a bit of weight is easy, like anyone can lose a bit of weight and that's why it, it's not difficult, the difficult part is losing weight or body fat consistently and keep doing it and then not put it back on and then and continue to keep losing it until you're, you're, you're quite satisfied of, with where you are. Um, that that's the hard part. But I mean, it doesn't it doesn't take much to lose some weight. You just stop eating crap for a week, um, do a wee bit of exercise, and that's what happens every January. That's what people do every January, and then they make their resolutions, and then by mid February it's broken again, because um, it's about because it's about you have to ultimately unless you're going to change habits, so you need to approach it from that point of view. Like this isn't a temporary thing. I don't mean the boot camp. You need to do the boot camp forever. I don't mean that because ultimately. It's all about nutrition at the end of the day. Like you can stay lean and not train, um, um, as long as you take care of your nutrition. The same can't be said the other way about. If you don't take care of your nutrition, you can train as much as you want, but you're you're never going to really get on top of your nutrition because you just eat more than you burn anyway. So nutrition's a king, um, and you have to take it as as part. Obviously, the, the exercise is a huge part of it too. But you have to just decide that your priorities where your priorities lie. Um, and and stop making excuses for why it's not a priority. Now I'm not, I'm not directing this at anyone in particular. I'm just sort of talking off the top of my head because I know that this is the mindset that some people can be in and some people aren't in. And not just the boot camp, just generally speaking. Um, so just try and decide that it's, it, this is what you're doing, and and don't let people put you off, and don't let other folk try and talk you out of it. Especially in Scotland, it's such a bad culture in this country that. I mean, you've all, we've, all, we've all got pals probably and relatives that look at you as if you've got two heads if you say you're not drinking on a night out or if you're going to someone's house and they seem genuinely annoyed at you if you if you say no thanks to a beer because you'd rather a cup of tea. Um, 
and that's that's something that's wrong with our culture. That that's not something that's wrong with you. If you say no, that's something it's reflective of the person that's disappointed that you're not drinking, and equally reflective of our culture. I was at a wedding last year in Italy, um, down in in near Naples. It was a great wedding, and anyway, it was one of my pals, but. What, the one thing that really struck me um, about the wedding was there was a free bar. There was a free bar from God. It must have been about four o'clock in the afternoon. There was a free bar, right, till, well, till the end of the night. And there wasn't one drunk person at the wedding. Like, could you imagine if that was in Glasgow? Like, be people vomiting all over the, <laughs> the dance floor. Um, there was a free bar. Um, there would have been people crying their eyes out, getting all emotional and telling everyone they love them, that they hate them and all the rest of it. Um, but there was a free bar all night and there wasn't one drunk person and they had a great time. It wasn't like they were all sitting there like looking at their iPhones or, or on, on Facebook. They're all up dancing, chatting away. You know what the Italians are like? They were very, very like animated and their hands were waving a bit like mad and uh, they were enjoying the food and dancing and talking and they were drinking wine, right, and they were having a few beers, but not one person was 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 hammered, um, <laughs> and it's just the culture. It's just not in the culture to get hammered. Obviously, it happens every so often, but and I and I'm, I I love the odd um, messy night as much as the next person, but um, it's just another example. I'm just trying to think of examples here of like the cultural differences in in why Scotland in particular. I mean, Glasgow is the worst, the unhealthiest country in. In Europe, I think it might even be the worst in the world. It's the heart attack capital of the world, and it's to do with the culture. Um, yeah, I understand that poverty plays a part, right? But there's there's plenty of like third world countries that are in much more dire straits than us that don't have anywhere near the same level of like heart heart, heart disease. Um, so it can't just be to do with that. There's other factors, and it's certainly to do with the culture and the culture of the drinking culture is a big part of that. Um, I'm kind of going off on a, bit of a tangent here, <laughs> um, but I'm just trying to say that like you have to make it a decision. You have to come to a decision. It can't be half-assed. Like, you have to embrace that road dial quote about the other day. Like if you're going to do something, you need to embrace it and and do it fully. Like because lukewarm is no good. It's not gonna. You're not gonna do. You're not. Gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere. Um, and it's so easy to know like whether or not someone is in is is, is got it or not. Like when people sometimes say to me like, um, "Oh, I've been good this week." That that tells me that they're not in the zone of where they need to be because they're they're still in that mentality of I'm going to try and be good this week. Um, it doesn't mean anything if you're good this week, <laughs> because once you're in, once it's part of your lifestyle, you wouldn't think like that. You, you wouldn't think about it being good this week or bad this week. You just you just know generally, like that. That's what that's. You just know how you eat, and that I don't know. It's hard to actually put into words what I mean, <laughs> but. It's about it's just the way it is. Like a, a diet by meaning is a way of life. Um, so when people ask me like, can I have a drink at the weekend? Like they're missing the bigger picture. They're missing the point. Like I'm not I'm not saying don't drink, and I'm not saying like do as I say. Like if 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 you feel you need to ask if you can drink, you're missing the bigger picture because you should understand that it's it's bigger than just one night on the sauce it's to do with choices and uh, that relate to your overall lifestyle um and priorities and knowing when enough is enough and knowing when you need to rein it in after a, a mad wee week or whatever we all have them we will have weeks where we don't really concentrate much on our food and we will go and get hammered or whatever, it happens every so often, but as soon as that becomes a fairly frequent occurrence, that, that is your lifestyle, so your, 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 your physique and your health is a reflection of your lifestyle, it's, it's, so if you're asking or thinking or wondering about whether or not you're being good this week or bad this week or then you're, you're not quite there yet and you need to try and recognise that and, and eventually it will click. Like quite often people do, after a few months at the camp or whatever, they'll say, oh, it just kind of clicked with me. Like I understand, I understand now what, you're say, what, what you mean, like about it all. Like you don't feel guilty about having a bar of chocolate because you don't have a bar of chocolate every day. Um, it's, and, and it's, it's recognising that the odd, the odd thing here or there is absolutely not going to impact on, on your lifestyle. Um, because it's not your your lifestyle is is more to do with healthy eating and, and, and exercising um, and and moving about and stuff. So I'm not really quite sure if I'm conveying my point that well. To be honest, <laughs> um, it's just a case of getting it, just getting it, and 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 ignoring people that don't get it. Essentially, 
because some people won't get it. They'll say, "Oh, like, are you still on that diet?" And and it doesn't. I, I, no one asks me that. No one asks me if I'm still on a high protein diet because it's not a high protein diet. I'm on just just what I eat. I just eat fish and vegetables and enjoy the odd bit of ice cream. And last night I had pizza. <laughs> so it's not that was fairly unusual. I need to start dialing and actually this bloody calendar shit that's coming up in five weeks. God. Anyway, that's. Um, um, <laughs> no, but my point is, like, it's not about not ever eating things that are bad, like a pizza, uh, but it's just a general, like, feeling of take responsibility, think about, like, your own health and be responsible and eat, eat responsibly, like, um, and just make, use a bit of common sense regarding it. Um, this, this is just my, my general thoughts towards everyone um, that might be interested in watching this video that struggles with their diet. Um, there's no, there's no one in, in my mind particular at all. I'm just sort of talking because um, I think that's the thing that mo most folk go on diets and and and, they, and then they'll, they'll say I'm doing really well. I lost six pounds this week and it doesn't matter. Like it, it's not that it, what I mean. It, why it doesn't matter is it doesn't matter if you lose six pounds in a week because it's irrelevant if in five years you're still going on a diet to lose six pounds in a week. Like it, you know, and that's that's where the whole kind of the whole concept of the ditch of the scales comes from as well. Like it's 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 not that. Being overweight is irrelevant. Of, of course, there's there's like contraindications in health and uh, of uh, health. If you're if you're carrying excess body fat, you you'll be more likely to develop other issues. Um, so it's not that it doesn't matter, but it's 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 the whole concept of weighing yourself um, and how it ties in with the whole diet mentality of on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, and the constant yo-yo struggle of gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, it's all, it's cyclical, it's really cyclical, when, between, you, you, oh god, Christmas is coming up, I'm going to, I'm going to go on a, one month detox with C9 aloe vera, whatever, for that month, and then I'll feel great, and then like, after Christmas you get hammered every week, every night for a fortnight, um, I don't, when I say you, I don't mean, you know what I mean, I'm just talking out loud, um, and then January comes and you feel lousy, so then you need to lose weight again, and the cycle continues. It's just, it's just like a yearly cycle, and then people feel lousy about themselves when they go to the beach in the summer if they're not quite as confident as they want to be. And, and until you escape the whole shackled idea of diets and weighing yourself weekly and going in detoxes and taking shakes, and, and you're never going to free yourself, like and 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 be confident and assured in your own skin and in your own body. Um, and that's that's it really. So I don't know. That's all I wanted to say. Um, on the back of those those two f uh, progress photos, because they're fairly long term progress photos, and that was what was really pleasing about them. And they've, they've, they seem to get it. Like you know, they've, they've said I, it's it's now a priority, and that's the whole point. That's how it should be. Anyway, this is maybe one of those emails. It's not really that got too much of a useful points. Maybe it does. It, it, maybe it will just make you think a wee bit. <laughs> right. Anyway, cheers.